Good morning everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Today I'm here with the BMW iX3 and I will test the car today, everything I can test, because I only have it for a week and on Monday a different car, the Fiat 500e will arrive and it's more important. <laughs> and so charging it to 100%, we're doing a full range test at 90 kilometers an hour uh, GPS speed, the car will show on a speedometer 94 and we go to 55% roughly because the car doesn't show state of charge, just a, you know, like a fuel gauge or gauge gauge, you know what I mean? And the app should show it, but I tried it a few times and it doesn't show it. Maybe if I'm driving it doesn't update. It shows the right range that it shows in the car but not state of charge. So I was driving here and always showed 100%, but arrived with 80 something. Yeah, um, but drive to around 55% and come back to the other side, to the other Ionity charger, and then we'll see uh, what average consumption is and uh, then we calculate the range. Uh, I do the 90 kilometers an hour test because this is the mix of what a uh, normal person drives when they drive country road and city and then we'll do a different test than just highway at 130 we do that in uh, after this after the charging test and everything and it also should come close to the wltp range but let's get in and drive excited I'm on my way, I drive my 94 kilometers an hour, GPS speed 90, I have it in cruise control and even self-steering, I have it in eco mode, you can see that down there, eco pro, um, <clears throat> and my stats so far, and this treatment meter is awesome, climate is off by the way, totally off, so no heat, no cooling, no fan, I have the lights on because it's a bit foggy, <coughs> sorry, and here in this trip meter you can see a lot of things. Uh, well, let's start from the left top. You see instant consumption, but it doesn't show minus. So region it doesn't show. But uh, uh, very accurately, then the average consumption, average speed, even with, I mean look at that, 89.8, cool. Then down here we have the time in with seconds and kilometers with 100 meters. So that's just perfect. <coughs> And I remember that Bjorn Elon, when he tested the car, uh, uh, saw that it's the trip meter kilometers is pretty spot on. What I like a lot about this trip meter display also is this graph here. On the left you have minutes, so the last 5 or 10 minutes, you can see that's why I drove constant speeds, almost the same consumption, but this shows the consumption, kilowatt hours per 100 kilometer, and on the right it's in kilometers, so the last 100 kilometers, and you can see in the beginning I had to go uphill, and then it was downhill, but since then it's all straight, so the last 50 kilometers it's almost flat, and it's awesome to see that. I like that, for me as testing purposes. I totally missed it, I was just in the construction. See the line on the left, that would be 75%, so I'm at 74, range is 750, uh, average consumption is 155. Yeah, if I calculate 132 with 74 percent, that would mean 507 kilometers. There's a Zoe passing me. <laughs> we just talked about the Zoe. But when I do add 133 plus the range that I have, I get to 471. Hey, look at the Zoe passing me. Yeah, and the head up display. It's 15 and a half degrees, climate is still off. I'm still doing, I'm still in eco mode, I'm still doing the 94. Look at that head up display, what it shows you. And you will see now the whole road. 
That looks good. Looks really good. Oh, I like that. I just turned around. I'm, I think I'm at around 56% or so, or 57, I don't know. Drove 203 kilometers and the range, so at, at 60, 65%, the range went down dramatically and had nothing to do with driving. Look at that, those are the last 100 kilometers, totally flat. Um, because now when I add those two numbers, I get to 382, not 482. It just dropped by 100 kilometers. Just like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which seems more realistic, but it just switched in, 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 in a very short time. Huh. I now have the climate on, but not on AC. Can't be that, right? No, doesn't change anything. So no AC, just a fan on three because it's 19 degrees now and the, and the sun is shining on me. Yeah, I noticed something weird. So the car still says 160 kilometers of range. I have 171 to go, so I wouldn't make it. Uh, I'm not even at 50%. Where's the car? I need the car. Uh, but driving information, I drove 230 kilometers, so I should be able to drive more. But what's weird, if I go in the app, the app doesn't show the real state of charge, but it shows 284 kilometers of range. This would make, I have to turn the wheel, would make more sense. I mean, the state of charge again, it doesn't show that un unless I stop. And that is weird. This here, this number doesn't make sense. I'm at 50%, not even, still a bit more, 51 or something. Okay, I, th I think I'm at 50%. Car says 152 kilometers of range at 50% when I drove 246 with the first 50%. Consumption is 150. I think it's going down a bit right now. Um, we drove two, two hours, 44 minutes and 16 seconds. Um, almost no regen, that's awesome. So I have constant speed. That's great. It's still 156 kilometers to the Georgia, which is better with the 154 here. But the app says I have 280 kilometers of range, which makes more sense. Now let's go back. I used the iDrive or whatever you call it. And then I'm back here. And again, here you see the 10 minutes, the last 100 kilometers and the last 1000 kilometers with the consumption. So you can see that uh, uh, 10 kilometers ago or 20 there was a bit of a downhill. That's why my consumption was lower. It's awesome. I like that. And the head-up display shows very nice that I have to stay left in two and a half kilometers and here too. So I drove the other way because it was just too short. I have 95 kilometers of range. I'm at 25%. I drove 380 kilometers um, in four hours and 13 minutes. Average consumption is 146. It's 
all good still no air conditioning still eco mode it's 21 and a half degrees now i'll have to get my sweater off soon um yes and now it's oh come on 50 kilometers to the georgia so i hope i arrive at around 10 percent i think it will be more than 10 percent because the range right now looks like it's uh, uh, over 500 kilometers in this condi these conditions. That's awesome. And here we are. We drove 429 kilometers, average consumption 145 in 4 hours 46. Um, I arrived with 17%, car says still 101 kilometers of range. I calculate, I looked at Google Maps and I calculated and it's 495 kilometers that we could drive with this speed. That's pretty awesome. Well, let's look at the charging speed at 17%, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. 153 kilowatt, 152, that's okay, 151, uh, very low voltage, but 424 amps, that's a lot, it's a good charging speed, yeah, we'll now charge a bit, that's it for me today, thank you much for watching, have a great day and take care, bye.